Notification Cooldown is a feature that was first reported on back with Android 15 Developer Preview 1. However, it was removed with the first public beta test in April of this year, and it seems as if Google needed to work on it just a little bit longer, as Notification Cooldown has been brought back with the first Developer Preview of Android 16. The feature has been tweaked a little bit though, so let's check out what has changed. If you have been able to test out Android 16 so far, then you have already had the notification cooldown feature enabled. So depending on how often you get notifications on your device, you may have already noticed its effects. You can locate this feature by first launching the settings app, finding the notifications menu, and then scrolling all the way down to the bottom until you see the general section here. The first feature in this section should be labeled notification cooldown and tapping on it will bring you to the menu where it can be configured. Android 16's notification cooldown feature looks as if it will be enabled by default, at least that's how things are in DP1. So you'll need to come to this menu if you ever decide to disable it. And there aren't any settings to change as of right now, but some have speculated that this could change before the first stable update is released. This, this new feature works by monitoring how often you are receiving notifications. If the operating system determines that you have received too many notifications from the same application within a short period of time, then you will notice the volume of the notification sound will gradually begin to get quieter. This reduced Do volume will persist for up to two minutes before resetting back to full volume and it's important to note that you are not missing any notifications during this cooldown period. Your notifications will still be accessible by swiping down from the top of the screen. You just won't see those notification alerts appear on the screen while the cooldown is active. In its current iteration, notification cooldown will not change any vibration setting. So if you have this enabled for notifications, then you'll continue to get those vibration alerts even when the cooldown period is active. This new feature is quite different from how it was first introduced with Android 15 Developer Preview 1. With this new version, you can no longer configure it so that it works with conversation notifications at all. Google was sure to make a note about notification cooldown not impacting calls, alarms, or priority notifications at all. It's possible that these extra options could be added in the stable update to Android 16, or they could be brought back in Android 16.1 or Android 17 after the community has gotten used to its effects. We aren't told exactly how many notifications end up triggering the cooldown, nor are we told how long this short time is that's mentioned in the description. But I suspect this is something that will be revealed in the future as more people are able to experiment and tinker with the new Android 16 update. So let me know what you think about notification cooldown down in the comment section below. And please remember to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android tips like this.